The proposal for MSCA postdoctoral fellowships consists of two parts. Part A must be filled in electronically, while Part B must be uploaded as two PDF files. This video will guide you through creating the MSCA PF proposal in the Funding and Tender Opportunities portal and completing the administrative forms. The Reference Documents section contains the official project proposal template. When the call is open, use the Watermark Free template in the non-public part of the portal. Let's have a look at the portal. First, ensure you have your personal EU login, the entry point to the non-public part. Log into your account and search for the respective call. In the Submission Service section, select European or Global Postdoctoral Fellowship and start submission. In the next step, identify the host organization by inserting its participant identification code. In case of doubts, search it in the database or contact your host institution. Then choose your role. The proposal can be created by any of these persons. Add the information about your proposal all of these fields can be updated later on. At this point, legal entity appointed representative and administrative contact at your host organization, so-called LEAR, will be notified about the proposal creation. After accepting the terms and conditions, your proposal is created. You can complete the A forms now or return later. To access your proposal, go to the My Proposals section and click on Edit Draft under Actions. Pay attention to the left column section where the mandatory proposal Part B templates and the support services provided by the European Commission are available. In the contact section, there have to be stated both the name of the supervisor and the name of the researcher. To do so, use the icon Add Contact. Also, make sure the email address is the same as the one used within the researcher's or supervisor's EU login. In case of a global postdoctoral fellowship, or if you want to go on a non-academic placement at the end of the project, add an associated partner. Remember, if you plan a standard secondment, you do not insert the name of your secondment host here. We will now go through the administrative forms, which consist of five sections. It is not necessary to complete them all at once. In the General Information section, the acronym Abstract and Scientific Panel will reappear and can be updated here. Keep in mind that the scientific area and descriptors are important because European Research Executive Agency will choose experts to evaluate your proposal based on that. You can use additional clarifications provided for each section. If you have submitted the same or a very similar proposal in the past two years within any EU program, you should provide the proposal reference or contract number in case your proposal has been funded. Remember that if your proposal submitted to the previous MSCA call received a score of less than 70%, you cannot resubmit the same proposal in the following year. After confirming several declarations, save the information and move to the next section participants. Thanks to the pre-filled PIC code, most of the information about your host institution is automatically included. Complete missing parts like departments and details about supervisor and researcher. Insert the date of the PhD award. A separate table appears only for those researchers applying for postdoctoral fellowships with research experience longer than eight years after obtaining the PhD title. You should indicate the reason and the number of days you request to be taken into account. In the following table, you are supposed to indicate the periods and countries in which you legally resided and or had your main activity, such as work and studies, during the last five years. It is the responsibility of the future host that will become beneficiary to check compliance with MSCA rules, especially the mobility rule. In the next table, of define the role of participating organization in the project. This is for statistical purposes only. We advise you to consult it with the host grant office. The list of publications as well as the most relevant previous projects or activities related to the subject of your proposal may pertain to the researcher, the supervisor, the research group that will host the researcher or others, as long as they are related to the proposal. You are also asked to state any significant infrastructure, items or equipment 
relevant to your proposed research. You have to confirm whether your host has adopted a gender equality plan. Your proposal's budget will be calculated automatically based on the number of person months corresponding to the duration of the fellowship. The family allowance will be automatically added to the budget if you tick, you are eligible for it. Bear in mind you can request the family allowance at any time during the project implementation. In the ethics and security part, complete the ethics issues table. If you flag any ethical issues, you must prepare a more in-depth ethics self-assessment. Do not underestimate the role of ethics. The European Commission may request additional work package and deliverables. Complete a security issues table too. For both ethics and security issues, you can read a specific guide. In the Other Questions section, answer additional questions. If your host institution is located in a widening country like the Czech Republic, tick yes for ERA postdoctoral fellowships alternative funding scheme to increase your chances of being funded. You can also consent to the European Commission disclosing your results to national and regional public research funding authorities running schemes complementary with MSCA PF, such as MSCA fellowships CZ, provided by the Czech Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports. In the end, launch the validation test to find out whether the A-forms are ready to be submitted. You cannot submit your proposal before all red errors have been removed. At the same time, yellow warnings indicate missing or incorrect information related to the eligibility criteria, but they will not block the proposal submission. Finally, upload parts B1 and B2 back into the portal, launch validation again, and now your proposal is ready to be submitted. You can resubmit your proposal by the deadline of the call. Every new submission overwrites the previous one. In conclusion, follow these recommendations. When preparing your proposal, use the available supporting documentation. You will find key documents in the Conditions and Documents section of the call, namely Work Program, Guide for Applicants, and Application Form in PDF format. From the beginning, prepare your proposal in close collaboration with your supervisor and the grant office at your host institution. Do not wait till the last moment. To avoid any technical issues, you are recommended to submit your proposal at the latest 48 hours before the deadline. Good luck and do not hesitate to ask for support from your NCPs in the Technology Center Prague.